Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Beautiful, beautiful morning here. 81 degrees right now. Expecting a high of 86, 87. Nice little breeze blowing. No rain in the forecast, at least not yet. <laughs> like I said, the forecast changes every hour here in Florida. the old barge sitting offshore. Boy, it looks like they pumped a lot of sand out of that thing yesterday. You can see the sandbar right out there. The tide's on its way out. Low tide's not till around 1054, I think is what I read. Water temperature's 85 degrees. Some of our beautiful sea oats. What a picture, huh? The early morning light, just beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Probably have to take a picture of that. Alrighty, I'm back here. Let's see Roy sitting in his chair up there reading his book. He must have got out here early for sunrise. Gonna have some friends stop out at the beach and surprise Roy this morning, but they just drove down up north and they're exhausted from their drive, so they're gonna wait till later this week to come out. It's gonna be fun. Something special is gonna happen when they show up. Let's walk down to the water and see what we can find this morning. Well, yesterday, Towards the end of my beach walk, I saw a huge school of tarpon, a big tarpon. It was probably four feet. There's probably hundreds of tarpon just swimming up along the coast. Absolutely incredible. But there are a lot of shells on the beach. Nice breeze blowing. I'm sure you can hear it blowing in the camera. I can do about that. Oh, here's something cool over here. See what it looks like. <sighs> oh, it's broken, darn it. It was a crucifix. It's the skeleton of an old sail cat, and it looks like a crucifix, but it kind of fell apart in my hands when I went to pick it up. backbone of an old sail cat. Boy, look at all these shells out here. Oh my lord. Hi. Look at this. Look at these worm tips. These are all worm tips here. Look at this. Just a pile of worm shells. Look at them all. All over here, just a pile of worm shells. There's a nice one. That's definitely a keeper right there. There must be 60, 70 worm shells right here in a little pile. Incredible. Three little keepers there. Great little worm shells. Wow. What else has Mother Nature brought ashore for us here? Besides Roy up there. It's one of our little snowy egrets. 
Good morning. It's little yellow feet. Just gonna walk south for a little bit. See if anything catches my eye. Nice breeze blowing. It is, you know, 81 already. It's starting to warm up. Summer has arrived, that's for sure. Look at all that sand out there. That's all new sand that that barge pumped out from Wiggins Pass. Definitely affecting the shape of the beach here. Definitely affecting the currents. if we had any new sea turtles crawl up on the beach last night. We got here a little before the park opened, so the ranger gate was closed. There's a little moon shell. Got a little chip in it. I'm going to leave that one here on the beach for somebody else. seen lots of old whelks, old conch shells, Look at that old fighting conch there, wow. Boy, Scott and Linda had a great day shelling yesterday. They found some really nice shells out here. They took their time. Taking your time pays off when you're shelling. Gosh, lots of little shells down here, lots and lots. It's like a carpet of shells. What you're gonna find buried under in one of these piles. Absolutely gorgeous morning though. Beautiful. Of shells along here kind of stopped I don't see any turtle tracks down the beach see the ranger making his or her way up here somebody's asking me about seagulls there's a seagull right there there's two seagulls right here in front of me Somebody's asking why they don't see, we don't see seagulls. Well, we have gulls here. We have several different types of gulls actually on the beach. There's, there's two seagulls right up ahead of me. Yesterday, we had a long beach walk. Walked the entire beach here at Del Nor Wiggins, the mile long stretch of beach. Found a few nice shells. Yesterday was more about the walk than the shelling. Look at that. What an absolutely gorgeous morning. Hmm. 
Beautiful blue sky. Gonna walk a little further south, see what we find, see what we come across. Oh, lots of slipper shells on the beach. Lots of slippers. There's two different color slipper shells here. They come in a wide variety of colors, the slipper shells. And as you know, you flip them over. Hang on. <laughs> And a handful of worm shells. You flip the slipper over, that's why they call it a slipper. It looks like a little shoe. A slipper shell. Fairly common, the slipper shells. Turn around here. I see. I can't spot any turtle tracks here on the beach. As far as I can see, sometimes they're hard to spot. But the tracks we saw yesterday were amazing. They were really deep. Big difference in between the water at the north end of the park and the south end. The north end's all kind of muddy looking because of this darn dredging they're doing. The south end of the park is beautiful. Areas one and two, absolutely gorgeous. A lot of beach down there too. A lot of nice beach, areas one and two. little worm shells that I picked up already this morning. They were all in a little group. Just a big pile of worm shells this morning. That breeze feels really nice. Quite a difference. I want to take a quick picture with, it, with this morning light here. It's so beautiful. Before that sun comes up bright. Bear with me for one second. I'll be right back. Wow, two snowy egrets just flew by me while I was taking the picture. I hope I got a shot of them. That'd be pretty cool. Where's everybody at this morning? Yesterday I could understand. I started early. A lot of people were still sleeping. But come on. Time to get out of bed, you sleepyheads. It's a beautiful day. Oh, there's those little snowies just flew by. Little snowy egrets. There's probably some great shells still up here on the high tide line. Linda found some nice ones in here yesterday. 
It's nice when you can have two people shelling. You can cover a lot more area. The shells are so spread out here. I mean, look at them. They're all spread from all up here, all out here. Shells everywhere. Hey, it's Sunday morning, great buffet, great Sunday morning buffet breakfast at the VFW in Bonita Springs. Can't beat the deal. Fill your plate, $7, $7. Load your plate up for seven bucks. All kinds of things, eggs, bacon, sausage, pancakes. They got hash browns or tater tots, corned beef hash. Couple different kinds of eggs, a couple different kinds of omelets. Excellent, excellent value. Seven dollars for the buffet at the Bonita Springs VFW. That goes from 8 a.m. till 11.30 a.m. And it's open to the public for breakfast. I'll be up there as soon as I finish up my beach walk. That's for darn sure. Boy, it looks like it's going to be a worm shell morning. They are everywhere. Getting some nice little worm shells. The problem with the darn worm shells is you got to be careful if you put them in your pocket. They're so fragile. They break so easily. A lot of stuff out here. I'm having a hard time focusing my eyes here on the shelves this morning. It's hard to see too. Got all this little, this is like little bits and pieces of pine needles and things that have fallen off the trees and washed into the gulf and washed back on the beach. It's hard to see things. It's a little piece of a little tulip. Part of a little banded tulip shell. I think Scott found a couple of those yesterday. Little auger shells. Where's that? I think I saw an auger down here. A little auger. There's a little auger shell. Hmm, there's something interesting up the beach. I bet you've never seen one of these. This is a first for me. This is a very rare shell. Have you ever seen one of those? A pineapple shell? <laughs> uh, yeah, just the old pineapple that washed up on the beach. Something you see all the time. Not really. 
Wonder where that came from. Somebody's making pina coladas. <laughs> Looks like another good morning for Scott and Linda out here. They're gonna have to do some searching. A lot of shells buried here. And amongst all this debris here. Wow. There's a nice little black scallop shell. Black scallop. Now it's taken our ranger quite a while to get up the beach, so maybe we had some sea turtle crawls down the south end of the park. What's up, Daddy O? Good, how are you doing? You're sand sailing? Yeah, a little breeze came up and I'm Don't sail over the edge. Anything down there? Yeah, we got one so far. A, a good one? Yeah, oh, sweet. <laughs> awesome, another nest. How about that? Now we're up to 14 nests. 14, my yeah. gosh. Awesome, awesome. That's fabulous. Oh, sand sailing, huh? Yeah, it's glorious. Out I over go, the horizon? I don't... go scooting along and I don't have all the maintenance problems. <laughs> I don't have to go into the harbor and get my boat and pay storage. I just, right here I'm sand right sailing. Off. How beautiful. far out are you right now? Well, I dance along over the horizon. <laughs> <laughs> I That's don't have funny. to furl sails or anything else. Oh, wow. <laughs> Scrub the deck. You just have to watch out for the submarines. Well, yeah, the submarines. The submarines are racing too. But I'd rather go sand sailing and watch the submarine oh, races. Much more funny. fun. <laughs> hey, our surprise got postponed. Darn it! Oh, that's right. The big surprise yeah, day it got postponed. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It'll still come to pass, though. Oh, absolutely. Oh, good. Yep. It's one well, of the one day this week. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. Absolutely. Wonderful. I'm going to walk down the beach a little further. I'll be back, all right? I was down there. Somebody must have swiped our uh, root shell. Oh, I didn't, really? I not see gone? it anymore. Uh-oh. So take a look. Maybe I just missed seeing it. Uh-oh. wonder who did that. Any dolphins out there this morning? No dolphins. No dolphins. And none of the, Somebody said what I thought was dolphins was... Uh, Those were tarpon. Tarpon. Yep. They were huge. There was hundreds of them. It was amazing. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's good. When I first came this morning, they were gushing out oh, were they? stuff, and now they quit. I don't know. There's a lot of through. sand right out there. Yeah, they you're out. kidding. They've been There's really a whole gushing. other sandbar there. I wish they'd move on down to the <laughs> south. That's definitely what's affecting the shape of this beach. Oh, no question. They've got a big sandbar yeah. out here. All right, I'll be back in a little while. All right. Hey, good seeing you. I just I have to leave here at 9 o'clock, so oh, my keep an eye on your watch for me when I get back. Okay, so I got an hour, a little over an hour. All right, I'll be back. Always great seeing you. Always good seeing you. I'll be right back. Good Unless, of course, I find those gold doubloons on the beach. Oh, they're here, all right. If I do find them, I'll come. I'll give you a handful of them. Oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We can hear the ospreys squawking up in the nest. It's actually one that we're hearing is perched right up on top of the tree up here. That little, you can hear it calling out. Listen close. Come on, say something. That's the osprey you hear. I want to walk up the beach a little more, 
see what we find, see what shells we find. Well, that's great news. Another sea turtle nest. Now there's 14 confirmed so far. That is awesome. Hey, bud. One of our little snowy egrets here. With its little yellow feet. Looking for something to eat. Nope, didn't get anything that time. See if it just getting a drink. <laughs> Let's get a mouthful of sand. It's amazing how they spot the little fish in those waves. A little snowy egret. On down the beach. There, see it right there. All right, let's do a little more shelling, a little more walking, a little more shelling. Noisy osprey this morning. Oh gosh, I always forget the name of these shells. They're so cool looking. People tell me, our shell enthusiasts, they always tell me a name and I always forget, but they're so cool with the stripes. Those are such neat looking shells. shell. I want a nice moon shell this morning. Or a murex. Gosh, I haven't found a nice murex. Our friends found some great murex yesterday. A beautiful murex shell. Several of them yesterday. I was just walking too fast yesterday and walked right by all the good stuff. Guess my eyesight's starting to go in my old age. Look how gorgeous it is out here. Nice little olive shell. There's a great little olive. There's a little hole in it. It's a nice little olive shell. I'll keep that one. There's a piece of a murex, it looks like. 
piece of a little apple murex. Come on, I want to find the whole murex shell. It's just a piece of an apple murex right there. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous morning here. little shells on the beach here. You really got to take your time here. Nice big little, nice big little slipper shell. <laughs> That's a good one, a nice big little slipper shell. That's a great slipper. Yeah, it looks like a little slipper when you flip it over. They come in all colors, believe me. Here's, look at this one. Look at the colors on that slipper shell. Little stripes on it. Got our kitten paws. Yeah, that's kind of a worn out kitten paw there. Paw. Here's another one. They're pretty easy to find. The little kitten's paw. understand I find broken tulip shells everywhere and I never find a whole tulip shell there's another piece of a tulip it's broken shells everywhere piece of a little gouty nautica piece of a, a murex shell all I find are broken shells darn it That would have been a beautiful little nautica shell. I'll just keep making my way up here. Don't have much further to go before the shells run out. Be sure to let everybody know where you're watching from. If you're new here, introduce yourself to the group. When Roy was chatting on the the feed here yesterday, he was somebody from Norway was watching. That was pretty cool. There's a big feather on the beach. That's a good size and maybe a pelican feather. Another broken tulip shell. Find or broken ones. Darn it. Boy, oh boy. There are a lot of shells here. Oh, here's something else, a horseshoe crab. 
Oh, sad. Looks like a dead one. Not just the shell. That's what's left of a horseshoe crab. Pretty interesting, the horseshoe crabs. You should Google it. Google horseshoe crabs. Read up on them. Very interesting creatures, the horseshoe crabs. Well, there's a... There are so many shells right here, and they're just all tangled up, buried. I could spend all morning going through this stuff. Nice little worm shell. Little cockle shell. Lots of little cockles over here. There's a couple more cockles right there. Nice little cockle shells. Different colors. You can see how they come in different colors, the cockles. Piece of an angel wing shell. These are really fragile, the angel wings. There's a piece of one. There's an old lightning whelk. Piece of an old whelk, lightning whelk. Wow. There are so many shells piled up down here. It's amazing. Looking for a nice moon shell. I haven't found one of those lately. Walked right by a couple of them yesterday. shells. Got to really do some digging there to find something. Oh, there's Scott and Linda. I'm sure they'll take their time and root around in all this stuff. Come up with something nice. Boy, there definitely are a lot of shells along the beach right here. offshore too right here in the water lots of stuff rolling in with the waves <coughs> excuse me take a look back down the beach It's not Scott and Linda. I thought it was. They're not here yet. Come on. Roy's other friends. Oh, it's Mike. I think it might be Fisherman Mike out there. I haven't seen him in ages.
I am looking as best I can here for something different. Something to pick up and add to the old shell collection. It's just not happening. I'm not, something's wrong with my eyes, I guess. That old conch, now that is a cool conch shell there. That is old, that is a very neat old conch. Very cool, very cool. I'll keep that one just because it's so different looking. There's a big whelk, big old lightning whelk. That's an old, look at that, they almost match. That is kind of neat, an old whelk and an old conch all faded out. That is pretty cool. That is really neat. Definitely keep those. Morning. Is the tide just really low or did they put sand up here? They're dumping sand all out here. So it's eventually because this looks just dramatically. Yeah, long. this is it's changed because of what they're doing out here, it's changing the shape of the Yeah. Wow. It's like we have nothing here. And, and down to that south end, it's really nice. One and two are really nice. But the area where the two big, uh, I don't know, Australian pines, I guess, are roped off, that's serious yeah, erosion. That, yeah, but it's nothing like this. I, I mean, know, this, this is, is like the worst up here, but yeah. So I wonder if they're gonna shift it. Yeah, they, they started here and it's just slowly going down. That area, I think, needs it a lot. I mean, you can, you can, walk out there at low tide. Low tide's not till almost 11 That's today. That's what I was thinking. So yeah, yeah. Wow. So yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Have a nice day. <laughs> There's a nice big cockle shell over there. Down on the sand. lot of debris on the beach. I'm sure it's stuff that's getting dredged up out of the past and getting pumped out and washing up on the beach up here. Kind of sad. We need some volunteers to come out here and pick up trash. That would be awesome. Boy, there are so many shells up here. Look at them all down here. There's a turkey wing, our old turkey wing shell. That's an old one. That's an old turkey wing, kind of worn out. Boy, lots of nice cockle shells on the beach. There's a nice cockle right there. Boy, that's a beauty. It's a very nice cockle, kind of different. That's a little unusual compared to the ones we find. The nice colors. Gorgeous morning, it's absolutely gorgeous out here.
If you're new, be sure to let everybody know where you're watching from. Introduce yourself to the group here. Some great friendships have been made here during these live feeds. As you can see, this beach got hit pretty hard last weekend when Tropical Depression Alberta skirted by us out in the Gulf. Really created some extreme high tides. Took a lot of our beach away here. There's pretty much no beach left here. This is Area 5, the north end of Del Norwegans Pass State Park. We're up in North Naples, Florida. Roy said he thinks the somebody took that shell that was underneath the tree that was entangled in the roots of that tree, that big old horse conch. But the water is really murky up here today. all that erosion that's six feet there that is six feet that's up over my head wow oh this stump is starting to fall down here every day they're getting a little lower a little lower and a little lower what beautiful sky though isn't it gorgeous that sky i gotta take a picture of that don't go anywhere it'll just take me a minute sorry about that All these stumps are falling down. That's what happened. No, that. This is the one that had that big shell. It looks like somebody might have cut it out of there. Darn it. Why would somebody do that? That was so neat to see. Huh. Oh well. If somebody wanted a souvenir really bad. Looking back down to the south, what a gorgeous morning. Just incredibly blue skies. Incredible. All the way around. Summer skies. Shell. I wanted a moon shell. You heard me say that earlier. I got one. Hooray. Got a moon shell this morning. It's also called a shark eye. Finally. Finally, finally. It's a pretty good size one. Interesting little ridges on it there. Cool. I'm happy now. I got a moon shell.
There's always a lot more wave action up here as we get closer to the pass. Wiggins Pass is at the very north end of the park. Part of the namesake, Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. There's part of a little scallop shell down here. There's always some great shells in the water. If you want to walk out along the water, you've got to have really good eyes to see them with the waves. You can usually find some great stuff. So we got a new sea turtle nest on the beach. We're up to 14. We had another successful crawl last night. That wind is blowing right into the camera here. Sorry about that, but nothing I can do about that. Oh, there's a really old alphabet cone down here, an old cone shell. Probably was an alphabet. No, the most common ones here. This is a really old cone shell. Look how worn that is. A really old cone. Cone shell. That's pretty neat. They're usually white with yellow banding. That sun's out now. Boy, it's bright. Bright and hot. Gosh, lots of cockles on the beach. Look, here's a cockle shell over there. Down. There's another cockle shell right there. Lots of cockles on the beach. If you enjoy these beach walks, tell your friends. Be sure to sign up to get a notification so you know when I go live. I have no idea what my schedule is for doing these beach walks. It just happens whenever the mood strikes and the weather's right, and my work schedule's right. Nobody pays me to come out and do this. I love doing it. But if you want to make a little contribution, it always helps. Helps pay the phone bill. Very important. You can find my PayPal info in the description of, the, of this post a little later if you want to make a little contribution. For those of you that have, thank you so much. It is bright out here. Good morning. Really bright. Get out of the cover of those trees there, out onto the beach.
Here's one of our fighting conch shells. These are fairly common, the fighting conchs. Always make sure they're empty before you take them home. Make sure there's nothing alive inside any of the shells you pick up. The fighting conch. Another piece of a beautiful little scallop shell. Conk and the scallop. the north end of the park. This is Wiggins Pass up ahead of me. On the other side of Wiggins Pass is Barefoot Beach, another beautiful Southwest Florida beach. Yesterday, that big pipe was all up up on the beach up here. You could see it. It's pumping the sand. Now it's been submerged again. There's a really old conch shell. Old conch. These are fighting conchs. They, this is about how big they get. We have other conchs. We have queen. There's queen conchs. There's Horse conchs offshore here. The horse conchs are huge, huge. The fighting conchs only get to be a couple inches. And they're fairly common. There's another one down there, right there. Got to be careful when I'm bending over here. I got a pocket full of stuff here. A lot of worm shells. I don't want to break them when I'm bending over. This is here's a conch here. This is more of the natural color of the fighting conchs. This dark brown. When you rub it, you get a little more of the color comes out. So that's the normal color of a fighting conch. Florida fighting conch is what they call them. Another little scallop, nice little scallop shell. And of course, one of our turkey wing shells. They're pretty cool, the turkey wings. A lot of conchs up here. A lot of little fighting conchs. There's another one right down here. A couple more right over here. piece of worm rock. That's always fun to look at, worm rock. Got the little worm tubes. That's kind of cool, the worm rock. Very cool stuff, worm rock. interesting colored one right here never found a black one like that there's two kittens paws never saw one like that that black color that's unusual keep 
both of them. How are you doing? Great, how are you? Great. Boy, it's bright out here today. Yeah. Woo. It's beautiful. How can I find you on Facebook? Um, it's go to look for Southwest Florida Television. Southwest Florida Television. Yep. One it, word? It, no, it yeah, it's four words. South Southwest Florida Television. Okay. Well, three words. All right. Four words. Is yeah, this four. Uh, Facebook, uh, Facebook slash or if you just go to Facebook and you do the search on Facebook for Southwest Florida Television, okay. you'll All find right. it. You'll find it. Okay. You'll hear me and you right now. <laughs> okay. okay. There we go. Another, another old turkey wing. So it's three words. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a funky color turkey wing, isn't it? That's interesting. I'm going to keep that one. The turkey wing. SWFL TV. That's the easiest way to find me. If you just Google SWFL TV, you will find my Facebook page. Of course, my personal page, Rob Stan. Well, getting close to time to turn around and head back down the beach, have my little Sunday morning chat with Roy. Maybe see what we missed on my way back. Maybe hang a shell on that shell tree for everybody watching that can't come out and do it themselves. Just found a nice little cockle that we can hang on the shell tree. I'll do that on my way back here. Another nice little fighting conch shell down there. Look at all those little shells. Wow. I didn't find my Murex shell. I found my moon shell this morning. I'll show you some of the things I picked up as I'm walking back down the beach. I can find them in my pocket. It's a nice little black scallop shell. Those are always cool. That's a nice one. It's actually a dark red, almost black. I have a two tone. Is that a whole orange scallop here? Let's see. Yeah, that's a nice orange scallop right there. That's got some great color. Look at that. An orange scallop. Watch that big cockle. Beautiful little orange scallop. It's a great looking shell. It is getting hot out here. There we are, Wiggins Pass.
Well, we didn't see any sea turtle tracks during our morning walk, but we did have a successful crawl last night down at the south end of the beach, so that's always good news. We're up to 14 nests now on the beach, 14 loggerhead sea turtle nests. turn around and start walking back. I always feel like if I don't walk to the end of the beach, I'm gonna miss something, but I'll leave it there for somebody else. Look at all these beautiful sea oats up here. Just blowing in the breeze, just swaying in the breeze. The sea oats. Protected by law. You can't walk in them or pick them. You don't set your beach chairs up there. There's a little sign down here. It tells you what kind of birds you'll see here at the park. It's very informative. down in area five and tells you about the different types of sea turtles and other marine life. This is up by Wiggins Pass at the north end of the park. Lots of benches scattered throughout the park. Great little places to sit and watch the sunsets. Sun is shining bright right now. It's just in and out of the clouds and in and out all morning. Gorgeous out here. So gorgeous, I'm gonna take a quick photo. Bear with me. All right, I'm back, sorry about that. Lots of shells out on the beach. Stepped on one. <laughs> Get back down to the edge of the water. See if we missed anything, uh, which I know we did. Look at it from a different angle. Beautiful out here, though. Look at that sky. It's gorgeous. Got this cockle shell a little earlier there. We'll hang that up on the tree. I like doing that when I happen to find a nice shell, hang it up there, hang it on one of our shell trees for all of our friends who can't make it to the beach to hang a shell. Good morning, how you doing? Good, how are you? Great. Turn around and look up the beach there. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? That's definitely worth taking a picture of. Bear with me. That is beautiful. Look at that sky. Oh, those white clouds. What a gorgeous morning.
Now that the sun's out, you can start to see the colors of the water, the greens and the blues. Gonna hang a shell, hang that cockle right over here on our shell tree here. With all the other shells. See all the other shells here. I'm gonna hang it with some of the others here. Let's find a spot where there's a nice, good, big branch here. I can slip this down. There we go. There you go. That shells for everybody that can't make it to the beach. That cockle shell right there in the middle. That's for you guys watching. I'm gonna take a photo, bear with me, hang tight. Well, hopefully I got a photo of it. A lot of these shells, people hang these shells in memory of a loved one that's passed away. So keep that in mind when you see them hanging on the trees. Scott and Linda, a couple friends with them. <laughs> oh, Karen, oh, it's Tom out here. <laughs> I haven't, this is the first time I've seen you with yeah. the beard. How you doing, Tom? Good, Good to see well. you. Yeah. Yep. Yep. We miss you at the country club. Yeah, well, you gotta come check it out. That. Check it out one night. Yeah, we will. It's a good time. Yeah, we've been busy. Yeah, you know. well, that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. a good thing. Yeah. Being busy is always yeah, good. Being busy, absolutely being busy. <laughs> uh, good. What's Where'd up? You? Well, what'd you find? Anything good? No. Really? I just I just kind of skipped over everything. There's not a whole lot out there. Some huge moon shells. Yeah, we didn't find a whole lot. Got, uh, an, olive, an olive shell. Oh, that's a nice, and a nice old, old, old cone. Oh, and uh, no, that's only a piece. There was a pile shell. of arm shells. And an old codger floating around, but that's it. Yeah. A lot of old codgers. I think they were in that, uh, in the river or something. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, old stuff. You're right. A lot I mean, of like old, like yeah. old, old wealth like that. Exactly. Just yeah. old, old. Yeah. Found one moon so shell. Recycled. Yeah, recycled. That's all. Exactly, recycle right into my shell. It was a lot of worm shells. That's, that's about it, but huh. I don't know if they're broken in my pocket yet or not. Yeah, there's a couple people. There was. Did you see couple. Mike? No, I didn't. He was down here. He was heading up to oh, see if they were fishing. I must so you just been, I he'll be back him. down here in a minute. He was just going to go see if they were catching. Yeah, those other folks, they're not going to show up till later this week that I was. Just a piece of it. Yep, that's all I've been finding. Hey, a lot of pieces. Ton, oh, tons beautiful. of cockle shells. A lot of them. A lot just, of cockle uh, shells. Got a big one out of there and gave it to Karen. I don't know where the moon. I found one moon sh moon shell up by where that conch shell used to be in the tree. I think it's buried. That that tree, what, that that tree that's what it looked like. The, and the, the sand came the up. The trees. Oh, that's a nice one. Collapsed. Yeah. That's but a yeah, beautiful that's, one. That's, that's a pretty nice little moon. 
Yeah, but I think that's the problem. I don't. I think the shell's just he's gone again. I think it's buried. Yeah, yep. waiting for another time to surface. Another couple hundred years. <laughs> Probably. That thing's been there a long time. I did take a picture of it somewhere. So I think it's on your video the other day. Yeah, I, I did take so a picture of it somewhere, we'll but I didn't post it somewhere in my Dropbox. Somewhere. You guys going up to the V? Um, you know, I don't know. We might hang out here for a bit and. Uh, Take a, a royal plunge. A Keep royal plunge. Floating to Mexico today. There you go. So we'll see. We might hang out for here a bit instead of going for breakfast. All right. With, I'm gonna uh, roll up there in a little bit. Heading up there now. We were up last week, you, and you skipped on. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Can't win them all. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Hey, when's the uh, when's your friends coming out? To, I don't know. Uh, to do the thing. Don't I don't know. Yet. I they were coming today, but we said maybe Wednesday, but I forgot I got to take somebody to the airport Wednesday morning, so it'll either be hopefully Tuesday or Thursday. All right, well, keep so, us all updated. Yeah, like, that'll be fun. That. Yep, it'll be interesting to say the least. Oh, yeah, big time. <laughs> all right, yeah. guys, all see, right. You later. Well. see you later. Ladies, Ryan, how are you? How are you? What'd you well. find, Linda? Another sand dollar. Laying right on top. Wow, nice. Over by Karen. Oh, nice. Just a complete. Yeah, box. nice yeah. cockle shell. Yeah. It's a big one. It's a big one. A big one. Yeah. It's a big one. A lot of worm shells out here. Yeah, I saw one. Yeah, I saw there was one. a lot. A worm shell earlier. Oh, and yeah. And then just a couple of heart shaped rocks. Oh, the hearts. Oh, the heart rocks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just a couple of, yeah. Oh, yeah. Those we are just cool. started. Yeah. So. Well, good so luck. Yeah. So, Roy, you got a couple hugs, I know for sure. He started out with some hugs. Did you see good shells up there? Well, there's a there's there's a lot. I just kind of breeze through them, but there's a lot up there. So, good luck. See you later, Karen. Linda, bye. Good morning. Karen Malloy, Linda Magyar, great friends. All met. I met them all through Facebook, through these beach walks. Amazing. Amazing. Amazing, the friendships that have been made through Facebook, through these beach walks on Facebook. I'm trying to find some of the worm shells that I picked up earlier this morning. Hope I didn't break them. Good morning. They're so fragile, and I stuff them in my pocket. There's a couple worm shells. They were all, oh, there was lots of them on the beach this morning, these worm shells. Very, very cool. Lots of cockle shells on the beach also this morning. Found lots of great cockles. There's one there, nice cockle. Hung one of these up on the shell tree just a little while ago. The cockle shells. Found that nice little moon shell. See if I can dig around in my pocket and find that. Hard to find this old whelk. There's that old whelk shell. That's kind of neat. The colors. That's a really old lightning whelk. That's cool. Find a lot of nice whelks on this beach periodically. digging around in my pocket and I just can't find that moon shell. Huh. You see all the beach we lost here. Horrible. Last weekend, tropical depression, Alberta washed all Alberta washed all this beach away. We lost it all. Boy, that barge is pumping the sand out now. Man, oh man. See that barge out there in the water? They're taking sand from the north end of the Wiggins Pass, dredging it out and pumping the sand through a big pipe and it's dumping it all along the shore of the beach here. 
I'll get you a closer look of that in a minute. It's just beautiful here though, look at that. What a gorgeous. This is definitely a picture here. I'm gonna wait here for a minute for the sun to come out and brighten up all the beach here in front of me. Just snap off a quick photo through these trees here. And I always post a couple photos after my beach walk. And I also post this video in a little higher quality on YouTube. So be sure to check that out. You can see the whole entire beach walk. Let me try to snap a photo off quick. Bear with me. Oh, sorry that took so long. Hope I'm not running out of time here. I want to chat with Roy. I got to be off the beach at nine. Give somebody a ride to work. It's gorgeous out here. Look at that sky. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. hear those ospreys screeching out at. There's Roy down there. Go we'll say hi and bye to Roy. See how he's doing this morning. Check in, see what time it is. There's that barge. Spewing out the sand from Wiggins Pass just offshore there. I'll zoom in. You see it in action there. Look at that thing go. It's all the sand being dredged out of Wiggins Pass. They're dumping it just offshore of Area 4 Beach here. runs quite a distance from Wiggins Pass down to here. Pretty amazing how that works. Listen to, the, listen to those ospreys. Boy, they're singing up a storm. Wow. Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Very good, very good. How was your shelling this morning? Lots, Great. Lots, no, of, not, lots of nice shells? Not so nice, then I like it all of them. You like all of them? <laughs> what you got in there? This, this a lot of conch, yeah, a lot of the conch wow, shells. Yeah. yeah, those are great. A lot of big That's ones. nice and oh, shiny. Rob, you're all Barb. Barb. Hi, Rob. Hi, I'm Rob. <laughs> nice <laughs> meeting you. Yeah, nice same. meeting you. <laughs> Beautiful day to be Isn't out it? here. Isn't it? Yep. We've been hearing a lot of little peeping. I wonder if they got little ones up there. I wonder. I think so. That'd yeah. be something. I think so. We've got a lot of life. Maybe we got some little babies up there? Yeah, yeah it looks like. The nest is right up there. We might have some little babies in that nest. Yeah, that's what we we'll need to do. We'll have to get a drone out here and check. All right, we'll see you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Wow, nice might be you. some little baby ospreys up there. How are we doing on time, Roy? Already? 8.57. Oh my gosh, I got to get moving along. Darn it. 
You got a ride you got to yep. pick up? Yep, I got to get out of here, so. That's too bad. We'll catch up another time there. Old Mike was yeah. here. Yeah, I missed him, darn it. Yeah. I saw him here. I thought I'd yeah, catch him up there, but I missed him. And, and Scott and Linda are here and a couple other couples. They're well, up before, the now. before I get out of here, give us a word of the day. The word of the day? Yeah, give us a quick word. Of the, I put him on the spot. Well, oh, he's good the at The what, word of the day seconds. is what a delight it is to hug beautiful young ladies. Oh, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> it is. Nothing's it, better it, for my day, too. There you go. <laughs> Hugging a young, beautiful lady. Start that, your day with a hug. Day, Nothing that's beats for it. Sure. That is wonderful, <laughs> wonderful advice. <laughs> so, guys, give your, give your gals a squeeze if she's close by. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a wonderful feeling, and... Uh, it's actually a feeling of warm friendship. It, it is. is. Yeah. It, it is. definitely is. Yeah. I mean, it makes you feel good all over That's when you get a sure. hug. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, it, maybe, it produces, ways, maybe it produces serotonin. It does. It I probably does. It does. <laughs> it does. Great <laughs> advice, Roy. Barb, great day. Yep, good seeing you guys. Bye, Take it easy. Roy, tally ho. I'll see you soon. God bless. Oh, that was, that's awesome advice. Start your day with a hug. Hmm. <laughs> I am running late. I've got to boogie. I just always wind up dilly-dallying when I'm walking the beach. Can't help it. Beautiful morning though here. Beautiful morning. I want to thank everybody for joining me. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Remember, nobody pays me to be out here. If you want to make a little contribution, it is always appreciated. Not mandatory but greatly appreciated you can find my paypal account info in the description of this post a little later looks like the boat is coming to push the barge a little further down the beach that's cool all right give you one more look on this beautiful beautiful sunday morning before signing off we'll look up the beach don't forget to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Have a wonderful day. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.